So I'm just going to read a passage and I I'll just want you to make note of any strategies that you notice that I'm using to help myself as I'm making sense of what it is that I'm reading. Okay? okay. Turn tape. For comments posted to Comics Alliance, a fan website concerning Action Comics number 900. So this is a website and these are a bunch of comments that are posted. So I'll, I'm guessing it's probably in a blog where people see information, they can go and put in ideas. Hey, um, how about you keep on reading and try and find out your question? I, I might have some more questions. Okay. At the end of this issue, Superman attends a nonviolent protest in Tehran, but amid concerns over the Iranian government, misconstrual, that's a big word, misconstrual, I might want to look up that, I'd see if I would use a different word instead of that one, um, of his presence as an endorsement by the U.S. government, he announces, I intend to speak before the United Nations tomorrow and inform them that I am renouncing my U.S. citizenship. That's a big statement for Superman, because a lot of people see Superman as a world hero, not a U.S. citizen. So I'm interested in seeing what people say and how people react in the website. Isn't Superman an illegal alien anyway? That's a good question. Hopefully when he sees how well the walking and protesting work out, he'll quit being such a little... I blacked out a word because I wasn't comfortable with that word. I think some people can be very creative in saying what they need to say without using inappropriate words. Okay. Um, and go back to just being Superman. DC Comics is rife with occult symbolism. Every time I hear a word, the word occult, I think of Doctor Strange you know, magic and being mystical and stuff. And I don't really see Superman as being magical, uh, but I guess this person feels that they are. It is not a surprise that they are moving into this phase. The globalists know in their hearts that they have won and defeated the nation state. Not so fast, Superman. There is an 18 month wait list to renounce one's US citizenship. His announcement to the United Nations will carry no weight legally, and he must continue to pay federal, state, and local taxes or else be imprisoned. I have big questions about that because Clark Kent, right? Because Clark Kent's his secret yeah. identity. He's an American. So I think to myself that Superman helps everyone all around the world. Yeah. He doesn't really make money for what he does. So he doesn't really pay taxes. So I'm interested in seeing, like, this person brings up an interesting point, but I don't know how true it is. Because Superman's saving the world, right? So well, what do you think about that? I think that guy is being kind of a jerk because Superman's putting his life on the line just to save them in the comic. In the comic. But it's just a comic. So I think to myself that these people are all making very strong statements, but we're just talking about a comic, right? Like it's not a real person, yet these are very powerful personal comments that are being made. Actually, you know what, if I kept on reading, I would have noticed that this other person made the same point. This doesn't make sense. Unless he's announcing his secret identity to the world, Clark Kent is an American citizen, either naturalized or natural born, depending on which origin is currently in continuity, but Superman isn't. Unless I miss an issue where he was formally applied for American citizenship under the name Superman. And yes, there is still a Justice League of America, which I guess would now never be able to join again. See, I don't remember Justice League in America. I know there's a Justice League, and based on all the TV shows that I've watched with, with you, um, you know, they have a space station on space, and they overlook the whole world, and they have a responsibility to everyone in the world. Yep. Right? And um, so the UN is a joke anyway. He should have picked a better form for his announcement. You're making connections to... Um what you already know in other texts. I made a connection to a text, to a comic? Yeah. I know I made a connection to the TV show, which that would be more of a text to movie, right? Or text to video type of connection. Yeah, and I, I use that strategy, I guess, to help myself understand or make sense of what it is that I'm reading. Okay. And what this goes on to say is we have a lot of different people saying a lot of different things.